we, uh, we only have a few more minutes, and I want to ask a, a question and have all three of you answer it relatively quickly. And, and that would be to, to sort of flash forward to now. And given your rich history with the city, and we've talked about a little bit about quality of life, and it's a special place, and the bringing together of so many things, but what about the Elmhurst in 2010? What, what stands out for you today? about Elmhurst? And we'll, we'll close with that question. The difference in education, um, the, how much more they're learning these days, or much more that they have to learn these days than, than what we did. Um, it, it, York High is probably the most wonderful school in the whole world, and I think all three of us were there, so, uh, and we got a tremendous education. But now I think of my grandson, who's now going to be a, uh, well, he's a junior this year. And uh, so it is, it is just different as day and night. Tom? I'd like to repeat. What I noticed is Elmhurst College in Elmhurst, how they are a partner. When we were growing up, Elmhurst College, they did their thing, the Elmhurst did, and they, if they need help, fine, they call it. But they were never that close. And then you remember uh, Frick, wasn't it Frick that was the... Yeah. He sure. started, and I'm digressing, but it is the change in Elmer, a president's breakfast, and you were the MC for a million years. That brought the city, particularly the businessmen and women, to the college. They had a wonderful program. Now the programs they put on, it's, Elmer's is very fortunate to have the college, and I have no proof but that is the main thing. As far as also the improvements the Elmer's is doing business-wise, they bought uh, several buildings, what they want to develop into maybe a, Shaw, well, like the corner of, uh, they own the building where I think you were on uh, Prospect and uh, Park. I think they own that building. I guess they want to develop a gateway or something. I don't know what. Then they bought the one on York and Third, the southwest corner. I guess they own that. So they do want to plan, and they own some of the things. But so Elmhurst is keeping up with it. But the big, big, big thing, I'm glad I thought of it because you reminded me. We were concerned, this is, quote, quote, we Elmhurst. The shopping. We're going to lose to Oak Brook. We're going to do this. That. And Elmhurst, I think, did, um, not think, they did a marvelous job in keeping the downtown. They thought it'd be a dirt road, York Street. Everybody's going to go to Oak Brook. Elmhurst did that. Some towns, unfortunately, yeah. did go under or lost, but we kept it. And then, well, of course, and, and the downtown, as well as Spring and Road and Route yeah. 83 and York and Vallette and South Butterfield. And, Elmhurst is a lot and of credit. Ralph, what about today? Well, I think the thing that is, uh, sticks out in my mind is that uh, there are so many more opportunities now than there were when we were growing up, uh, particularly being in business. Uh, you see the opportunities, there, you know, they're just right there to grab and to make use of and to do something with. Uh, it's not like they're uh, withdrawn from your ability to do anything. You have a, in fact, we had a call at the office uh, before we came over here uh, from uh, the building department asking uh, what we were doing with a couple of lots that we own down on uh, south part of Elmhurst. And uh, my son explained what we were doing and so forth. But it's not an aggressive conversation that you get from the city these days. It's an informative one. What are you going to do? Uh, what is the time schedule? How are you going to manage this? And uh, that's quite different than what it used to be. Uh, I think uh, we are very fortunate in that uh, uh, that sense of hostility doesn't exist like it did for so many years. Well, I knew this was going to be the case. There's never going to be enough time to chat with folks like yourself and future guests, but we have to close this journey. Um, and uh, this initial, I can't think of a, a better threesome to start a new series with, and I, and I thank you all for, for being here and, and sharing. And we'll try and do, we'll try and do a, another one. I, I would like to do another one. I think, I think that would be good. Can I interrupt to thank you for putting yes, us at ease easy. and making this well, interview? This My is, palms this is, aren't sweating as much as this, they were, <laughs> thanks to you. Th this is absolutely fun for me, and I also know it's something that the Elmhurst Historical Museum, where these tapes will eventually reside, has wanted to do for years. So thank you. I, I um, think that the, count our blessings, we live in Elmhurst.
I agree with that too. So we'll look forward to future journeys with future guests and future programs, Elmhurst Time Travelers. So for the Elmhurst Historical Museum and Elmhurst, our kind of town, I'm Ken Bartels, and we'll see you again. Thank you. The Elmhurst Historical Museum, located in downtown Elmhurst, is proud to present award-winning exhibits for visitors of all ages. Our adult tea time talk series, family programs, and special events make learning about history interesting and fun. Admission is free, and on-site parking is available. Visit the Elmhurst Historical Museum soon. Call us today, or go to our website for the latest program details. Hi, I'm Elmer's Police Chief, Steve Newbaum. Elmer's is a great place to live and work. However, we are not crime free. Many people in our community become victims of crime simply because they did not lock their belongings. I would ask you to do two things. First, lock your car, house, and bike. Secondly, call 911 to report suspicious activity to the Elmer's Police Department. The Elmer's Police Department reminds you to lock it or lose it.